Hi, thank you for watching this short video about new features in PixAB version 2.0. PixAB is a software tool for antibody protein characterization, including de novo antibody protein sequencing, PTM and variant analysis, glycan profiling, disulfide bound and intact mass analysis. The first version of the software was released January 2017. In our latest 2.0 version, we have these updates. The algorithm is further improved for more accurate sequencing results. ETHCD data analysis is supported. Isolus and leucine differentiation rule is upgraded. More features are added for easier use, and a whole new module of intact mass analysis is included. Now let me show you some details. First, if your data is generated by ETHCD fragmentation method on thermal orbitrap fusion mass spectrometers, now in PixAB 2.0, you can analyze such data set. When you create a PixAB project, simply choose ETHCD in the fragment method list. ETHCD is a recently developed fragmentation method. Electron transfer dissociation is first applied followed by HCD fragmentation. Therefore, an ETHCD spectrum looks similar to the union of an ETD and an HCD spectrum, containing both BY and CZ ions. Another advantage of using the ETHCD method is to distinguish between isoleucine and leucine. If IL residues are within or near to CDR, wrong assignment may affect antibody protein activity. The principle is that Z ions with leucine or isoleucine on its end terminus will have different sidechain breakage and form unique W ions. Specifically, leucine on end terminus can lose a 43 Dalton isopropyl radical, whereas isoleucine loses a 29 Dalton ethyl group. For example, in this peptide, Z6 ions start with isoleucine because there is a peak that is 29 Dalton smaller than the Z6 ion peak. In the software, we added IL W ion columns in the ion match table, and red color means that there are peaks matched to the theoretical M over Z values. Did you notice that there is a IL button below the MS2 spectrum? By clicking it, the IL residues are changed to the opposite in the sequence and the table, and recalculate the WIL MRZ values using the opposite LI. Now we do not see any peak that supports L. In PixAB 2.0, after the protein sequence is constructed, the IL assignments are automatically made considering WIL evidence from ETHCD spectra, enzyme specificity, and homolog database information. And this IL statistical table is provided in the result. We also added a region column to help users clearly see the IL residues are in either framework, CDR, or constant regions. To make the software more user-friendly, PixAB 2.0 allows users to change the region annotation positions and select different colors of enzymes if default settings are not optimal. Lastly, a new module of intact mass analysis is included. Here we are looking at an antibody protein light chain intact mass data at bottom and the deconvolution results on top. This data was acquired with high resolution. Therefore, you can see the resolved isotope clusters. This is another example showing the deconvolution result of a non-reduced antibody protein. You can see that the deconvoluted peaks are annotated, meaning that they match with user input protein sequences considering commonly seen PTMs and glycan forms. Thank you for watching this video. We hope that the new functions in PixAB 2.0 can help you to save your time and effort analyzing antibody proteins.